हेलो एवरीवन द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज डिफरेंस बिटवीन सिंक्रोनस एंड ए सिंक्रोनस रिसेट वी नो दैट देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ प्रोसीजरल ब्लॉक वन इज ऑलवेज ब्लॉक एंड अनदर इज इनिशियल ब्लॉक एंड दिस सिंक्रोनस एंड ए सिंक्रोनस रिसेट इज रिलेटेड टू योर ऑलवेज ब्लॉक एंड How do we write this always block is always at the rate then parenthesis and then inside the parenthesis we have sensitivity list okay so if we write always at the rate positive edge of clock or positive edge of reset or instead of positive a is here you can also write negative a is so if inside this parenthesis if we mention both the signal that is clock and reset then that format is called asynchronous reset format and inside this parenthesis list if we mention only positive edge or negative edge of negative edge of clock signal then that format is called synchronous reset format okay in verilog this asynchronous reset format has its own advantage and disadvantage this synchronous reset format has its own advantage and disadvantage and this advantage and disadvantage already i have discussed in one of my tutorial that is on synchronous and asynchronous reset if you want to learn more then you can watch that tutorial and these are few points that is related to asynchronous reset these are few points that is related to synchronous reset i'm not going to read all these lines because it is very time consuming okay the second one is difference between inter assignment delay and inter assignment delay inter assignment delay is if we mention delay or if we write delay left to this so yes left to this assignment operator then that is inter assignment delay and in case of inter assignment delay if we mention delay right to this assignment operator then that is called inter assignment delay and these are few points which i have already explained in one of my tutor tutorial that is on inter assignment delay and inter assignment delay where i have dis discussed all these points thoroughly okay so if you want to learn more then you can go and watch that tutorial the third one is what is transport delay and what is inertial delay and digital logic design so if someone ask you what is a transport delay or inertial delay the answer should be like this transport delay and inertial delay these are the timing model these are the timing model or to model timing model time in verilog design okay okay so these are the timing model transport delay and inertial delay see inertial delay is also called gate delay okay so these are the timing model in verilog let me give you one example this is my inverter so whatever i give input here the same thing i will get at the output so here this is my 0 to 1 transition at the output also from 0 to 1 transition 0 to 1 transition right but this this triangle like shape inside this triangle tra triangle like shape we have many more circuit right at hardware level so this inverter is made up of what transistor and we know that because of this pcb traces and some other factors we will we will have some resistance and capacitor okay so if there are many pcb traces then we are going to have many more this resistance and capacitor circuit and we can we can also call this one a network series of resistance sorry series of resistor and series of capacitor and because of this resistor and capacitor there will be some delay so whatever we give here as input that will be delayed by this resistor and capacitor okay and that delay is modeled by transport that sorry that delay is modeled as transport delay so here it is written it models rc circuit seen at the node at hardware level 
ओके सो ट्रांसपोर्ट डिले इज नथिंग बट द डिले अराइजेस ड्यू टू दिस रेजिस्टर एंड कैपेसिटर एट द नोड एट द इनपुट नोड ओके एंड हुई इज बिकॉज ऑफ द पी सी बी ट्रेसेस और सम काइंड ऑफ अदर फैक्टर लाइक दिस इंडक्टिव इफेक्ट यू कैन से ओके एंड वॉट यू हैव टू रिमेंबर हियर इज इफ देयर इज अ ट्रांसपोर्ट डिले मैंसन सो सपोज फाइव नैनो सेकेंड ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्ट डिले इज मैंसन देन योर इनपुट इफ योर इनपुट इज जीरो देन द जीरो द जीरो शुड बी द जीरो शुड बी फॉर दिस फाइव नैनो सेकेंड द लेंथ ऑफ द जीरो शुड बी फॉर द फाइव नैनो सेकेंड इट शुड बी मेन्टेन एट दिस लेवल और इफ इट इज वन एट द इनपुट देन दिस लेवल दिस वन लेवल शुड बी मेन्टेन फॉर दिस फाइव नैनो सेकेंड डिले इफ इट इज नॉट मेन्टेन देन you we are not going to get the output that means the input won't be propagated or we may get false result okay this is what it is written where value of input data is maintained for the length of delay transport in order for input data to be propagated this is transport delay and what is inertial inertial or gate delay you have to remember okay inertial delay is also gate delay this is my end gate okay but we also know that this end gate is made up of what many more transistor or we can say cmos okay so the delay this is my input a and b so definitely there will be some delay because of this transistor or cmos circuit internally okay so this inertial delay or gate delay is nothing but the propagation delay of the electrical elements whatever electrical elements whatever electrical circuit is there or the delay that is arises due to this electrical circuit or electrical element that can be cap that sorry that can be transistor or that can be mos and that propagation delay is nothing but your inertial delay or gate delay transport delay is because of this resistance and capacitor capaci sorry this resistor and cap because of the resistor and capacitor effect and this inertial delay is because of the propagation delay of the electrical elements how we are going to write transport delay in verilog this this way okay mean delay comes before this assignment operator and this inertial delay delay comes after this assignment operator okay the next one is why delays are not synthesizable i have uploaded one complete tutorial on this topic so because of that reason i am not explaining here okay because in that tutorial in that tutorial i have explained nicely very nicely and thoroughly okay if you want to know the answer this question then better you should go and watch that tutorial the next one is what is input to synthesis and output of synthesis process synthesis meaning converting what you have described in verilog into real physical hardware so whatever we write see this verilog is a hardware description language hdl hardware description language meaning whatever we write is converted into a meaningful hardware always remember meaningful ha hardware and when this word comes meaningful hardware so verilog becomes your rtl code okay so whatever we write through this synthesis process or what the synthesis process does it converts your piece of code into a piece of hardware okay so synthesis meaning converting your verilog code into real physical hardware okay and what are the design constants the design constants is timing area and another one is power okay uh, these are the three design constants for synthesis one is timing second one is area and th third one is power timing refers to combinational logic okay and this area refers to flip flop timing is related to number of combina combinational logic that we have in our circuit and area refers to your number of flip flop if you reduce number of combinational logic in a circuit then you are reducing your timing if you are reducing the number of flip flop in your circuit or in your design then you are reducing the area okay and if your if your number of gate 
if your number of gate is re gates are reduced if number of gates are reduced then definitely the power consumption will be reduced okay so the design goal the design goal of synthesis the design goal of logic synthesis is to minimize this timing that is minimum delay so if delay is minimized then speed increases performance is improved and the design goal of this area is to minimize the area minimize the area means minimum number of gates or register and the third one was power okay minimizing power means the signal activity the signal activity in gates is minimized okay because if the signal activity if the signal activity in gates will be reduced then definitely the power consumption will be reduced okay and let me tell you one crucial point all these things all these things are determined by the timing area power all this all these are determined by the circuit architecture and the coding style the way we write the code and the way we have we have our architecture that determine that is that decides the timing area and power in digital logic design okay so synthesis it does two things one is translation and one is optimization translation means rtl is converted into gate level netlist and optimization two things is optimized two things are optimized one is timing another is area okay what is the input to synthesis so during synthesis what is given in the input rtl code is given the input then technology library then design constants so these are the input to synthesis you have to remember rtl code then technology library then design constant such as time and area and what is the output of a synthesizer after the synthesis process what we get we get gate level representation of the design because the synthesis process converts rtl code into real circuit means this physical hardware so at the output we get gate level representation of your design then we also get the timing report okay we also get the area report next one is what is netlist so netlist represents basic component and its interconnection so if so this is one small piece of code okay so before synthesis before synthesis this is my circuit for this code okay after synthesis what happened after synthesis i got this one that means it is see here what we saw this synthesis what it does optimize it optimize your circuit in terms of timing and in terms of area so what it what it did here it optimized the circuit that means it reduced your timing and your area okay so this is what he got after the synthesis process so this netlist is nothing but the representation of the basic component so this is one component then this is another component so this representation of the basic component and the interconnection and the interconnection between them so this is my interconnection details this is interconnection this is interconnection then this is my line then these are my interconnection so netlist what it gives it will give you the basic component and its interconnection okay so this is one of my one of my code then after synthesis this is what i got and this is my netlist this is how the netlist this is how netlist looks like see netlist is nothing but basic component and interconnection see here these are the basic component flip flop flip flop nand gate nand gate inverter or gate or gate then xnor this is my basic component and these these are the interconnection 
clock is there output is there input all these things this is my base that means how those components are interconnected so netlist gives you the basic components and how those components are interconnected okay the next one is verilog versus rtl code or what is rtl so i'm stopping here because if i continue then it will take more time to finish this tutorial and it will be very lengthy so in my next tutorial maybe maybe tomorrow i will upload another tutorial that is another series that this uh, interview series okay so today i'm stopping here and thank you so much for watching this tutorial and if you want to know further that is uh, what are the updates that is the questions and the answer that i'm going to upload in my channel for that you have to subscribe this channel and you can comment if you have some other kind of requirement like any other doubt i mean to say okay so thank you so much